So how do you get your animations from Flash to YouTube while retaining the most quality in both the image and the sound? I'm going to explain the process I use. So let's say you have a finished animation with sound and everything, and now you want to upload it to YouTube. Here's the basic process. 1. Export it as a Swift file. 2. Convert it to MP4 using Swivel. 3. Upload it to YouTube. I'll go into each of these steps in detail soon, but you may be asking, why not just export it as a movie file directly from Flash? A few reasons. The way Flash converts its movies is by first exporting it to a Flash format and then recording that Flash format as a video in real time. So if your computer is not so fast or you have a lot going on in the animation, there's a high chance that frames will be skipped, causing it to look choppy. I use Swivel because it works frame by frame to ensure that no frames are skipped and the render quality is virtually spotless while retaining a small file size for easy upload. Alright, so let's go over each of the steps in detail. Step 1. Export as a Swift file. Go to File, Publish Settings. Make sure Flash is the only one checked, so in my case I need to uncheck HTML wrapper since I don't need that. Set JPEG quality to 100 and change the settings in each of the audio stream and audio event. Right now it's set to an extremely low quality. This is the default setting that Flash gives you in order to reduce file size. But since we don't need to save file size with this step, we should go as high quality as we possibly can. I usually choose RAW, uncheck Convert Stereo to Mono, and Sample Rate 44 kHz. Click Publish. Now you have a finished Swift file in the same folder as your Flash project file. Step 2. Convert to MP4 using Swivel. Click on the link in the description. The people at Newgrounds made this program to help the animation community and it's available as a free download. Click on your operating system. If you don't know if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit, I've provided links in the description to assist in figuring that out. Install the program by clicking Next and I Agree a bunch of times, and then open up the program. Make sure to turn down your volume before starting it up, so you don't freak out yourself and anyone else around you. <laughs> click Add. Find your Swift and click Open. All these settings are fine, so click Video. The default settings are pretty good as they are. H.264 High is a very good codec. Sometimes I like to add a megabyte or two to the video bitrate so that I like to feel like I'm making a higher quality video even if I can't really tell the difference. In the audio tab I also bump the audio bitrate up a bit. Hit convert. Once it's done you will have your finished video file. Step 3. Upload to YouTube. I probably don't need to explain how to do this, but since it is a part of the title of the video, I'll do it quickly. Sign into your Google account. Go to YouTube.com, and in the upper right corner there's a button that says Upload. Click and drag your video onto the page, edit the title and description, and hit Publish when you're ready to publish. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any more suggestions for tutorials, please leave them in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You're about to learn a quick and easy three-step process to improve any image in Photoshop. Step 1. Curves. Press Ctrl or Command M to edit the curves of your image. This is basically to draw the stick figures. I use a tablet. In my opinion, there's no tablet that is the best. A small, cheap tablet is sufficient to draw stick figures. But if you want a bigger drawing area and more features than a larger, more expensive tablet or Cintiq monitor.